Hey, how's it going? Today, I'll show you how to get the HDL Box app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll need to get the app code and loader to your Fire Stick, and you can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device, and there in the search bar, you gotta start typing the loader. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So let's click on it, and there's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. So in order to actually start the loader, you have to go to the settings on your Fire Stick. So click on that button with the gear icon, then you scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it for 7 times. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have pop out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then you need to go to install unknown apps, open it, and then from here just locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, if you go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, you open it and there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast and they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say you connect to Hungary right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll have an offer to get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on the Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. Or alternatively, you can also use IPVanish, which is another really decent VPN provider. They are a bit cheaper than NordVPN, and we also have a discount code for them in the description of the video as well as in a pinned comment. So it's up to you, it's either IPVanish or NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we open the app and wait until it loads. Then here on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. That's really important. Then you open the search bar, and in the search, let's start entering the code, which is going to be 7, 9, 5, 2, 8, 1. So once again, it's 7, 9, 5, 2, 8, 1. That's the code that you have to enter. Then you got to click on Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel, so you would get even more content about flower sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now the download process is starting for you, usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case I got a pretty fast connection, so it will take us only a couple of seconds. 
Then click on install and just wait until the app finishes installing on your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using, of course. And after it was installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from the Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space on it anyway. And then if you go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, you open it and there is the HDL Box app which we just loaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. You click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, HDL Box is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and draw out of trouble online. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.